Now we are going to play a good cha-cha-cha. The doctor is in. There's another one. Sweet angles. I'm here to sell you on the dope system. Oh. We call that sass. Oh, it's a real little devil, dude. Send up. Way up. At Kona, when it comes to designing and building bicycles, there's a whole slew of materials to choose from. Here in the lab and on the trail, it's our job to investigate them all. Whether it's steel, aluminum, titanium, carbon fiber, or magnesium, we run them all through the ringer. Scandium has the ability to do it all. Number 21 on the periodic table, right beside titanium. If you're like a lot of other people out there and don't know much about Scandium, sit back and relax. Dr. Dew has a scientific treat for you. Scandium. Light as titanium, more durable than carbon, half the weight of steel, five times stronger than aluminum, lifetime warranty, fast as light. And now some history. 4.5 billion years ago in a massive exploding element, the planet Earth came to be. Bang! As the Earth cooled and tectonic forces heaved and held, the subcontinent Scandinavia was formed. With the Great Ice Age finally receding about 10,000 years ago, Vikings began raping and pillaging all along the coast. What fun! 1879, the young chemist Lars Frederick Nielsen, hailing from Sweden and likely of Viking blood, discovers a rare metal he would name, surprise, scandium. Scandium is classified as a rare earth element. Mysteriously, the material seems to be much more prevalent in the sun and some stars than it is on earth. Russia lays claim to a whole shitload of earth. Ten years before Nielsen discovered scandium, the Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev predicted its existence using his revolutionary discovery, periodic law. Oh, those crafty Russian. In the 1970s, Cold War Russian scientists began to meld scandium with aluminum alloys, developing a compound that was 50% stronger than aluminum itself. The original use of scandium and aluminum alloys was in the nose cones of USSR submarine launch ballistic missiles, so strong they were able to launch from below the polar ice cap. Oh, the glory of ice. From 1964 to 1992, the Soviet hockey team won seven Olympic gold medals in eight tries. 1994, in one of the all-time great gold medal matches, Sweden defeats Canada in the shoe to become Olympic champions for the first time ever. Nielsen and the rest of his Viking team are proud, so proud. 1998, Eastern Bell Sports of California, America introduces scandium bicycle tubing. Interesting enough, they also make hockey sticks. In 2000, the Canadian bicycle company Kona begins using scandium on its high-end cyclocross and cross-country mountain bikes. 2002, Canada sweeps gold in the men's and women's Olympic hockey tournaments. The Canadian men's victory comes 50 years to the day after its last hockey gold at the 1952 Winter Olympic Games in Oslo, Norway. Coincidence, we think not. Born from the sun and the stars, discovered in Scandinavia, refined by the Russians, and honed into incredibly high-performance bicycle tubing by the Americans, then designed into beautiful, fast, and durable bicycles by Canadians. In 2009, Kona will use Scandium alloy tubing on 15 models of bicycles. Oh, marvelous Scandium, what a ride! So there you have it, the little element that could. Straight from the Earth's crust to a Kona bike near you. Scandium. It's fast, light, durable, comfortable. It's our dirty little secret. Thanks for joining us. Hey, sometimes it gets so lonely in the lab. Oh, glorious scanning. What a ride.